fade route. So A.J. Hughes comes on to punt. He'll try to pooch it inside the 10. It hits at the 9 and rolls down to the 7. Outstanding punt in his end zone. High snap. Gets it away, but it's not a great kick. End over end. Still, it hits and gets a Wake Forest roll. And this may turn out to be one of his best ever punts by the time it stops. And as you said, playing into their strength, the secondary. This is a knuckleball, and it'll be fair caught at the 40-yard line. So look out. Almost blocked. All the way down inside the five. Stroman, nowhere to go, and he'll be tackled inside the 10, winning the safety. A.J. Hughes punts away again. And it's taken at the 49-yard line. Way out to the numbers. Wolford pulls the trigger, finds a man between cover two, finds it between the corner and the safety. Serena has a first down and much more. A gain of 22. Straight ahead, big hole, second level. This is Isaiah Robinson. Robinson has a first down. Wolford throws to the corner, and that one is picked off. Picked off by Donovan Riley. Low snap. Almost blocked. Wow. And kicked out of bounds at the 40. They'll mark it probably at the 39. Alex Kinnall does that rugby run. Kicks it end over end. Stroman all the way back at the 16-yard line. So An injured left shoulder. He's out for the game. Meanwhile, A.J. Hughes. It's off a low liner. It's going to be returned. Jared Crump sidesteps one, gets a block, and gets inside the 45 to the 46-yard line. Ship Kenny High School in Jacksonville, Florida. Here he is again. Five-step drop. Throws the out pattern on the money. And inside the 25-yard line. 14 on the season. Good snap. Kick's not going to make it, I don't believe. Hit it a little bit fat. He's not happy with himself either. Brewer with plenty of time. Throws over the middle and a lot of space. The space belongs to Byrne, and Byrne is all the way down inside the 40-yard line. Here he is. Breaks the tackle inside the 35 to the 31-yard line. Ball out. And ball the ball kick. is loose. Johnson and Lee made the hit. The ball squirted out. Wake Forest says they have it. And they do. Ray Guy semifinalist. This is one of the best in the country. Only 10 of them. Not a good snap. This is an end-over-end -end punt. It'll hit at the 25 and backspin to the 27. Now, neither team's going to is worried about getting this snap, and that'll be it. And that'll end the first half. If you're Wake Forest, you've got to think, hey, this is pretty good so far. Well, yeah, Wake Forest just wanted to be in the game in the second half. They've done an excellent job on both sides of the ball. An emotional day for these Wake Forest seniors. We're coming back with a Hyundai Halftime Report right after this. He does have that one interception that Arch showed you with the AT&T inside the headset. This is complete. And Serene is out across the 40. They're going to play zone. Virginia Tech was in the neutral zone, it looked like. No flags. Steps up, throws, lobs it, has the first down. This is complete to E.J. Scott. And Scott rambles down inside the 40. Fourth down for Wake Forest. Over the middle. First down, Wake Forest. It's a moot point. One here today. He's got plenty of distance this time. But he's off to the left. There is a flag down. Offsides, number 11, defense, five-yard pick. That's Ken. Good snap, good hold, and he's wide left again. And that'll get some boo birds out here at BB&T. We'll punt it. Jared Crump standing at the 10. He'll come up and fair catch it just inside the 20. Hard line. Alex Canole rolls right. Rugby kick, end over end, another good one. This will hit at the 20, go inside the 15. How about that? here in the second half. Jared Crump looks at it, returns it, gets across the 40-yard line, and there is a flag down. This might be a block in the back, a 35-yard punt, an 8-yard return. Pack defensively for Virginia Tech. He is the sack master, 6'4", 231 pounds. 
This is another fair catch. Ball is bobbled at the 20. So a 26 yard punt, a one yard return, and a huge sack for Wake Forest. This is a good punt. Drives Crump all the way back inside the 15 yard line. Alex Canal gets off another punt that is low and hard to return. They try to return it. So a 43 yard punt. Brendan Motley stays in the ball game at quarterback. Here he throws the out pattern all alone at the 40 yard line. Knocked out of bounds is Cam Phillips, the freshman, all to the bottom of the screen. They go that way. And it's hit immediately. Was it backwards? No whistle. Wake Forest can Wake Forest recovers, and it, that's a turnover. That was a lateral. He needs a good one now. High snap. This is an end over end kick. Strowman will take it at the 32. Look for a wall. Go the opposite way and break a tackle, and he's out across midfield and into Wake Forest territory. In straight year. Brewer looks left. Now goes right. Throws, and it's intercepted. Intercepted by Noel. That was a poor pass. No receiver near Noel. Look Foster talking to Michael Brewer on the sideline. Alex Kinnall gets off a good punt. This will be fair caught. At the 17, they'll try to pooch it down tight. A.J. Hughes, the punter, gets a high tail wagger. This will hit inside the five and go through for a touchback. 35 seconds left. Wolford rolls way right, throws over the top and has a man. It's complete. Robinson, no. It's a keeper by Wolford. Wolford goes down at the 19. And they take a timeout with four seconds left in the game. For the game, for their first ACC win of the year. High snap, the kick is no good. We're going overtime. We're going into overtime and we'll be back. High snap, got it pretty well. And it's good. And Wake Forest leads, and it's the first lead of this ball game. This is from 28 yards. And his kick is good. Two block this year from 53 yards. It's long enough. No good. Missed it left. Wake Forest had lost six straight ACC games. The kick to win it. Wake Forest wins it. Virginia Tech.